Hello Stampers, this is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wisconsin, USA. In this video, I will show you how to create this hand stamp greeting card. It's part of my bundle bonus program from February 2022, where if you purchase a bundle of products from me, you get a emailed PDF file full of projects using the bundled products and the YouTube links to show you how to create those projects. So the bundle feature for February 2022 is the Crane of Fortune bundle on page 24 of the spring catalog. It includes the Crane of Fortune stamp set and the Good Fortune dies. These are part of the Symbols of Fortune suite which is shown on page 22 and 23 of the spring catalog. So let's get started with our card. So my base is the soft succulent cardstock. And I'm in the US, so I'm using Imperial metric measurements. And the inside of my card, there's the rest of my supply kit, is just the simple sending a thousand well wishes on your special day. And I've got my Calypso Coral ink pad. Just going to be in the center of the basic white card insert. Now my card inserts are just one sixth of an eight and a half by 11 piece of Whisper White. You create whatever size card insert you'd, you'd like. I've got this floral image uh, mounted on my block. And I just press down in the Calypso Coral ink and then stamp it on a piece of basic white scrap. And then lift up and set those aside and I'll be right back. I will die cut this out. So here's the Good Fortune die set. It includes the floral uh, die that I used to cut the floral stamp out. And that's part of the bundle. If you purchase with that bundle item number Okay, so we got the inside piece, and I assemble as I go, so I don't have so many pieces to take care of. It's going to be an inside. I'll put it down a little bit, because when I cut the front designer series paper, I had a little strip left, and that strip I cut in half. So decorate the inside up a little bit. Now if you're in a metric market you'll have a different size strip but this strip was four inches by uh, three-fourths of an inch. And make sure your butterfly is up. Alright, now outside. You don't have to fully mat a card and by that I mean you can add just a partial mat underneath. So I had these crumb cake strips and you can add a strip right there. Now it is longer than the card front. It is one inch wide uh, by five and a half inches tall. So if you are in metric, that would be 2.5 centimeters. And if you go to the length of your card, I think that's 15 centimeters. You just go in your little sniblet bin and see what you have to what kind of strips you have to put on the back there. This is just what I'm using today. Okay, your next layer is this gorgeous piece of pattern paper. Isn't this gorgeous? I'm gonna have to do another uh, video sh using this paper, this white crane with the gold wings and the gold dragonflies and gold grass. But I wanted the colorful print up today. And this colorful print measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. In metric, that would be 13.5 centimeters by uh, 9.5 centimeters. Just a little bit less than your uh, card base. You see a little bit of the card base color peeking out. Now again, I had this strip of the crumb, crumb cake. It's one inches. Oh, and I see I didn't cut that off. It is one inches uh, by four inches. Let me step back and cut that off. So for metric, it would be one centimeter by five and a half centimeters, or whatever you've got in your sniblet bin works. 
just some kind of a relief from the pattern. It breaks up that pattern a little bit and it, 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 it provides a base to add our ribbon. Now the satin shimmer ribbon in the soft succulent is part of the crane Symbols of Fortune suite. And all I did was place it on that strip and do a custom cut off the roll. So maybe about 3.75 inches. Now you don't want to use a glue dot underneath here. You want to use some kind of adhesive that is flat. So in this case, a tape runner. If you got some tear and tape, that would be great too. I'm just currently out of tear and tape. But this ribbon is wide, so it uh, the, so it fully covers the stamp and seal uh, width of the adhesive. All right, now I've got this square of crumb cake sitting here. And we don't have a nesting die, but you can always fussy cut. And that's a good uh, option too if you like a stamp set and you're lamenting it doesn't have a die set, well, you can still fussy cut it. It's not the, um, it's not my most favorite thing to do to fussy cut, but it can be done. And that's what we used to have to do before die sets came out. So I'm gonna fast forward the video. And we do sell these paper snips. So they're quite handy for fussy cutting. All right, now to amp this up a little bit, I didn't want it flat against the card base. So I'm gonna pop it up with some mini dimensionals. Just strategically around, I might do one on the tip, on the base right there too, to provide a little bit of stability while mailing. And a note about my color choices, crumb cake was not my initial color choice, but upon looking at the designer series paper colors, I decided that I liked that tan. A crumb cake is one of my favorite colors, so we pulled out the scrap bin to see what we had, and it fit perfectly, the color scheme of the in the pattern paper. All right, we've got these polished dots. They come in a package that has got a light pink tone and the um, clear tone. So this is what I have left of a package, my first package. I am using the light pink tone, so a large one right there. And then a small one to the right of the flower and a small one to the left of the larger one. And that is our card for today. So I hope you enjoyed our card. I hope you enjoy my bundle bonus program where we feature um, the bundle of the month. In this case, it is the Crane of Fortune bundle from the Symbols of Fortune suite. And look in your email for the other links to the YouTube videos showing how to use uh, the products in this suite and using this bundle. Make sure you click the like and subscribe button before you head out and we'll stamp with you soon. Bye.